All right, everyone, it is another Friday. Again, my name is Matt with Forever Fabrication. We are a small fab shop in Minnesota, and we are, uh, we're just passionate about cars, and we're here just trying to make a living like everyone else. Um, I meant to make this video yesterday, but we just got carried away doing a lot of running around. We were really trying to pump out some stuff on the Z, on our 4200Z. 42, I don't remember what we nicknamed it, but... <clears throat> um, but yeah, I wanted to make this video yesterday because I really wanted uh, my cohort Cam to be here um, and talk with, uh, talk with all of you guys about this also. Um, on Fridays, no one else is in the shop except for me. I want to keep giving these updates. I want to keep this going. Uh, that's why I'm just making these short videos. So, quick update. Our oil pan, the casing is fully welded. All right, I TIG welded the whole thing up. We bought another donor motor. Um, stripped everything off that we don't need, flipped it upside down, welded the whole oil pan on it. And now that oil pan is on our car. It is on our motor. It is in the car. Let's talk about it. All right, so as you can see, there is our motor. It is no longer attached anymore. Um, so we did have to lift it up, get the oil pan on it. Cam did a wonderful job and all that. Um, it fit. That was a good thing. It fit on the motor just fine. We had some small issues with fitting on the chassis. So this is what's going on. We had to remove the steering rack, which isn't that big a deal, especially from what I've been told. We had to drop the steering rack, get the motor back in. We were able to get, the, Cam was able to get the steering rack back in. Great, awesome. But on the steering rack, which we have pulled over here, we have a slight problem. There is a center bung for the power steering, high pressure. Um, and that is dead center on our oil pan. So as we lowered the motor down, we noticed it was going to make contact with that bung. Now we don't have the fittings or the lines for that because our shell didn't come with it. So we went out yesterday trying to find a place to custom make some with banjo fittings. No one had the fittings we needed, but we were able to identify what the fittings are and we have parts on order. We we're gonna make our own. <clears throat> we're probably gonna make a few extra sets just to have them or maybe sell them. Uh, but that is our new concern. So we need to get the fittings in. We're gonna throw that back in, get the motor in position, and then we're gonna have to remake our mounts because the motor most likely is gonna to have to come up roughly an inch. Hopefully not that much, but it'll be close. I'm thinking at least probably half to three quarter. <clears throat> um, we're probably just gonna find that out by just spacing out our current mounts to see what changes need to get made. But we also don't wanna mess with our geometry too much in um, the angle that we have the motor at. But you also get to see the oil pan, how it sticks out from the motor. Uh, right now we're on the passenger side of the vehicle. Um, on this side, <clears throat> one thing we're planning to add is giving people the option, I guess, to add either a, a dash 10 AN or a dash 12 AN. Um, male fitting. Uh, we'll weld it on if you want <clears throat> and that'll be a perfect oil drain location. Um, we also have a dipstick that we're gonna get added into the pan. We're just not sure exactly where we're gonna put it yet, whether we want it on the <clears throat> exhaust side or the intake side. We don't know. Um, I'm thinking it's gonna be on the exhaust side because there's gonna be more room over there because intake manifolds really take up a lot of this room. I was hoping to show you guys the pan installed, but we don't wanna like go backwards and everything. I'll show some clips of when I got the pan done being welded. and sturdy. Uh, one other thing we're gonna change, and I don't know if we can see it from down here. My camera doesn't wanna go up. All right, so let's talk about this for a second. The oil drain on our pan, we originally designed for it to be right on the bottom. Two reasons. One, most oil drains are on the bottom. Um, the other reason is we wanted it to be kind of in line with the pickup. <clears throat> that way, when you drain your oil, take a little flashlight, 
you can look up in your oil drain and you can see and make sure there's nothing in there, um, that the screen isn't catching anything. So that is why we put it there. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do options for if, if you want it there, but otherwise it's been, you know, it's been brought up. Uh, Kelvin mentioned it to us. We've talked about it. Um, but if we're really wanting to utilize as much ground clearance as possible, we might move that oil drain onto one of the sides. Ideally, we wanna move it to the back center. And the reason for that is that we're planning to baffle around the pickup um, with a top baffle and two side baffles. And our side baffles, I'm gonna show you here, our side baffles are gonna have flaps on them. <clears throat> They're gonna be little rubber flaps like this. We just got these in yesterday. And the whole purpose of these is oil can go into that where the pickup is and then the flap will close and they can't go back out. So the whole idea is to keep as much oil into that center of the valley as possible. That's where your pickup is, that's where you need the oil. Um, the rest of it is just volume. So we're not isolating the oil there. I mean, the flaps will still allow oil to go in and out, just mostly go into that valley. Um, we are gonna have some small cutouts so the oils can still travel between the baffles, but just not easily. <clears throat> and not a lot of it. So sloshing around, drifting, um, you don't gotta worry about it. So I don't think I showed this last time. Lastly, with the uh, awesome donation uh, from our friend Eric, we now have a hood <laughs> for the Z. Um, it's in rough shape, but that's fine. I don't care what shape it's in. Um, but our main question is, is a hood gonna fit? Um, I have my doubts. I have my doubts. Um, <clears throat> but we're gonna see. I doubt the hood's gonna fit as it, like once we make the new mounts, I doubt the hood's gonna fit with the new mounts um, and the valve cover stock. Now, if we shave the valve cover, which we're planning to, Maybe, maybe, but we haven't put the hood on yet. Um, I can show you guys what the hood looks like, not that it really matters. Uh, so yeah, here's our new carbon fiber hood um, from Seabon. Again, it's rough, but it's gonna give us a good idea on if that motor is gonna fit. Of course, this is where we don't want any low points and there's a small scoop, but there it is. All right, so what's next? If everything goes well next week, we are gonna finish our oil pan, get the baffles in it. Uh, we're gonna water test it, make sure everything looks like it's moving inside of it like we want to. Definitely make sure it's not leaking. It shouldn't. Um, we're looking at doing an aluminum one. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Um, it seems like there's a lot of people on here who are obsessed with wanting an aluminum one. And I love aluminum, don't get me wrong. I weld aluminum more than I weld steel. Um, or I used to. You could argue that it's lighter. I mean, you could argue that it's the same metal as the motor, which I mean, isn't an argument, it is the same metal, but I don't foresee it being an issue. Um, going aluminum, everything has to get thicker. So that weight saving is kind of eaten by it being thicker. It looks prettier. I mean, even I agree that aluminum looks better than steel but it's at the bottom of your motor, no one sees it. So I don't, I don't see, I don't know. We're looking into it. We might get a prototype in aluminum and just see what it does. See if there's any, we can weigh it. We'll, we'll do a weight comparison. Um, I'm curious on how much the oil pan flange would wanna shrink due to welding. That's a very common issue with aluminum. Actually all metal kind of does that in a way, but yeah, I don't know. So yeah, next week, I got on a rant there. Next week, we're gonna finish the oil pan. Um, we are gonna hopefully finish remounting everything. As long as the fittings come, we're gonna keep cracking at this thing. We're gonna see if the hood fits. Um, we might, now that we have two valve covers, we might just start shaving valve cover um, so that we can see, all right, the hood doesn't fit. Let's put the shaved one on there and see if it fits. Um, we are getting the last of the orders of the manifolds out today. 
any new orders they'll be out a couple you know maybe a week or two maybe but we have all the parts we need so get on ordering them because it supports us and it supports 4200 community we want to keep making parts for these cars but we need we need the support to do it so that's all i got that's everything well you all have a good weekend uh, again matt with fair fabrication till next time